Hey guys, what's going on? It is LKG here, and today I'm bringing you guys a GTA 5 online solo money making method or guide. Now, today I'm giving you three different ways to make money, tons of money solo. The reason why I'm doing this video is because there's going to be a new casino update coming soon. Rockstar has said it's going to be during the summer. We could expect within the next month there's going to be a big update, a casino update, and with that update, it will require us to have tons of money. So this video is going to help you make money in order to buy the things for the new casino updates. Now, before we get into this, I want to quickly, it's a little disclaimer, the three top methods that I'm going to give you require you to have money or require you to already own businesses that uh, are in the game that came out previously. Um, if you don't have any of those businesses or don't have the kind of money uh, that have a few million in the bank, please drop a comment and say you'd like to see a video on how to go from zero to millions of dollars. I've actually already started filming some things for that video, so I have already content and I have all my notes written out for it. So all I need to see is people to drop in the comments, how do I go from zero dollars to millions of dollars, and I will make a video within the next week for that. So that you guys have the money and then can come back to this video and make sure that you're using that money in a wise way to make even more millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars, 10 millions, whatever you want, okay? So uh, that is that. These three methods are gonna be, they require you to have millions in the bank or already own previous businesses that have been released. There is also gonna be a special mention. A special mention actually is the only thing where you don't, there's no requirements for it and it's just an easy way to get money. So uh, before we get into this video, please drop a like, it'd be very much appreciated. If you are new, subscribe, and like I said, drop a comment on any kind of video that you would like to see, or if you want to see a video on how to go from zero to millions of dollars, I had that all figured out. I could do that for you, no problem. So first off, I'm going to do the special mention before we get into the top three. The special mention for this video is contact missions and VIP missions. Contact missions are just the regular missions in the game. Now if you click the pause menu, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created, and go down to missions, there's a ton of missions that all, they all unlock as you go up in rank. Now some of the best missions are ballers, uh, blow up, um, cleaning up the cat house, chasers, there's a bunch of different missions that you could do and they're all very, very good for making money. They make you anywhere from just under 10 grand all the way up to 20, 30 grand um, and they all just are worth your time, fun to play and easy to make money if you were starting from, from scratch, from brand new. Now, personally, my favorite mission is Richmond in Richmond. It is a very simple mission. It's a Simeon mission. All you have to do is go repo two cars. Very easy. You could do it solo. When the cops are on you, you call Lester, get the cops off of you, or just go hide in one of the rich mansions out in the, uh, in the Hollywood or Vinewood area, whatever you want to call it, to lose the cops. Very easy. It is, for the first time bonus, I believe you get an extra 10K. Um, and maybe like an extra thousand RP. So here I did the first time bonus, $25,000. And we also got a whopping, I think it was 4,000, 4,000 XP. So it's a very, very easy mission. Now moving on to VIP missions. VIP missions are different, they are special, and they earn you more money. So to become a VIP, you have to have $50,000 in your bank account. The easy way to get that first initial $50,000, you go play some contact missions. There you go. After an hour, maybe a little bit over an hour of grinding, you have 50k in the bank. Now once you have 50k in the bank, you go, go into VIP work and you choose either Sightseer or Headhunter. Headhunter is where there are targets across the map that you have to take out. Sightseer is where you have to play three games on your phone and then they show you a location to a package that you have to pick up. Once you've picked up the three packages, you have done the mission. These missions pay anywhere from 20 to 25,000 for about 5 to 10 minutes of work. There's a 10 minute cooldown after you finish that mission. So what it is is around three times an hour you could get these missions done, which means you have around 60, 70 K um, an hour just off of this stuff. So you mix in some contact missions with this, you can make 100, 150, 200 K an hour. Um, that might be pushing a little bit, but you can make over 100 K easily an hour just by doing all these different missions combined. It is a very easy way to make money. You don't need any friends, you don't need anybody for this is completely solo. If you choose to have friends, you'll make more money, but that is your choice. Now, I know for these missions it is easier to have a helicopter. If you'd like to have a helicopter, there's places across the map where you can get them for free. Go pick it up at the helipad down near the docks. You could go to LSIA where they have helicopters there. As well, if you are a high enough rank, 
you could call it Meriwether and they will give and request a helicopter pickup. Once the helicopter arrives, you kill the pilot, take the helicopter that is now yours. So we had contact missions and then we had VIP missions. Once you were done both those missions, you can make tons of money off of that. And um, yeah, it's a very easy way to start off and very easy way to get going. And as you'll see here, I went over to click the last package. Boom, that was $23,000 easy. Took me about five to seven minutes. 23K, very, very easy to do. Now moving on to the third method in this video, it is the cargo crate business or the CEO cargo warehouse business, whatever you want to call it, special cargo. You will need $1.25 million to start this up. $1 million to get a CEO office, Mays Bank West, as you can see on the screen, and 250 k to get the cheapest small warehouse. Now, if you have more money than that and you want to invest in this business, or if you already have the businesses, um, there are small, medium, and large warehouses. Small holds 16 crates, medium holds 42 crates, large holds 111 crates. What this business is, is you are buying crates, delivering them to your warehouse, and then selling them for an even higher price. So you are spending some money to earn a higher profit. Now, the thing about this business that I'm, I'm going to say right off the bat is that it takes a lot of time. This is why it's coming in at number three. But I'm quickly going to throw some numbers at you so you understand how much money you could actually make off of this business because it is quite profitable. It's one of the ones that I used the most when I first started off. So for a 16 crate warehouse, um, if you were to buy the three crates at a time and then buy one crate extra, you're going to be spending roughly... $96,000 to fill up a 16 crate warehouse. Now with that $96,000 with those 16 crates, you can now sell them for $240,000, which means you've made 144 k off of that warehouse. As you can see here, to, it's $18,000 for every three crates. Um, if you want to do, you could always do one crate at a time. It is actually cheaper. The only thing is, is it takes so much time that I, in my opinion, it's not worth it anymore. Now that's a small crate warehouse. Moving on to the medium warehouse, it's 42 crates. It costs $252,000 to fill up a 42 crate warehouse and you could sell it for $735,000. Now, if you subtract that, you will be earning $483,000 on a medium or a mid-range crate warehouse, medium crate warehouse. If you were to go for a large crate warehouse, 111 crates, it would cost you $666,000 in crates to fill up that warehouse and you could sell all those crates for 2.2 million dollars making you roughly just over 1.5 million dollars now you're seeing that 1.5 million dollars on a big sale whoa that's a lot of money i know it is a lot of money but remember it is also a lot a lot of time to get this done so just a heads up if you have plenty of time to burn feel free to do that but the next two methods in my opinion are actually even more beneficial for you because it requires less of your time less of your effort to make just as much if not more money but I'm not discounting this uh, this way this method it is a really easy way to make money uh, the thing that I use the most uh, when I first started playing GTA 5 and when this first came out and whatnot so it's a great way to make the money also I'm gonna mention really quickly when you sell off the crates or sell off your product there's three ways it's gonna happen either you're gonna be given a truck where you have to drop off packages you're given a plane where you have to drop off packages or a boat where you have to deliver it to someone out in the sea. So there's three ways to do it. The more money, the more crates you have in the warehouse, the more delivery vehicles you'll have. So instead of, you know, if you have 100K worth of product, it may only be one truck. But as soon as you get 200K, maybe two, maybe even three trucks. So just so you know, the more you, uh, you have in your warehouse the, warehouse, the more you fill it up, the more delivery vehicles you will have. Later on, the next two methods, you won't have that problem, but for this one, you will. And coming in at number two is the import-export business or the vehicle cargo business. As you can see here, there are a bunch of different warehouses that you'll have to buy. They range anywhere from $1.6 million to $2.9 million. They're very, very expensive, but it is very easy to make your money back, and it is a fun way to make money on this game. Now, for this business, there's a few different moving parts to it. First, there are three different kinds of cars that you will be able to source. Uh, other words, you'll be able to steal and bring back to your uh, warehouse. And then there's three different ways to sell the car. So the three different kinds of cars are mid-range, standard range, top range. I put them in the wrong order. It's actually standard range, then mid-range, then top range. They all are, um, are different sort of rarities of cars, and they sell for different amounts. 
standard range being the least and top range being the most. What you want is to be able to get top range every single time that you go out to steal a car. The way to do that is you roughly you keep roughly 10 of standard range and 10 mid-range cars in your vehicle warehouse. So every time you go, uh, when, you call, when you go to source a vehicle, which is essentially um, requesting a vehicle to steal, whenever you go to source one and you get a mid-range or standard range, you put it in your garage. You don't sell them to a buyer. You keep them in there until you have 10 and 10, and now you get top range every single time. When you get a top range vehicle, you sell it right away. They sell to a specialist de dealer, aka the highest amount of money you could earn on a car or on selling one of these cars. You could sell it to them for $100,000. Now, to sell it to a specialist dealer, you actually have to add some modifications. Those modifications will cost you 20 k So if you're selling it for 100 k you're spending 20 k to sell it for $100,000. You're making an 80 k profit. You could do this three times an hour. That's 240 k um, an hour just off of this method. One thing to keep in mind though, because these cars are your cargo, it's your product. If you damage them, it actually decreases the value of the product. So instead of making 80K, sometimes if you bang up the car on the way to selling it or on the way bringing it back to your uh, warehouse, you may actually only earn 75K instead of 80K simply because you had $5,000 in damages, if that makes sense. So that is an easy way to, uh, to make money. This is the second method. I personally love this the most. It's not the easiest one, that's why it's not my number one. You still have to put in time and effort, but it's a really fun way to do it. You get to drive pretty nice cars, and uh, yeah, it's a great way to, to make some money. You know, anywhere from 80 to 240K an hour. Very easy money, easy way to do it. Let's hop into the number one. And finally, at number one is the nightclub business. Now, the reason why nightclub business is number one is because it's the only business that is, has passive income. Passive income means that you have to put in no time or effort to earn money. The reason why that is is because once you set up this business, it is done. They, you have workers at the, at the nightclub make money for you. So the way to set up the nightclub is, uh, is very important. You have to own a bunch of other businesses throughout the game. So you have to own some biker businesses, the gun running, um, CEO businesses, and once you own those and have those running, then there's going to be a technician from the nightclub that goes over to those businesses and runs and earns product, makes product from those businesses for the nightclub. So there's five different kinds of businesses um, that I like the best. Cargo shipments, pharmaceuticals, cash creation, sporting goods, South American imports. Um, those translated over to the other businesses requires me to own the cargo crates for CEO. The pharmaceutical is the meth lab from the biker. Cash creation is a cash, uh, the counterfeit cash from the biker gang. Sporting goods is the gun running bunker, and South American imports is the cocaine lockup from bikers. So you have to own. I have to own all five of those businesses. If you want to do the same, own all five of those businesses to make money in the nightclub. Like I said, you could go AFK on this game, and the nightclub will produce money for you because you actually have technicians or workers at the nightclub doing all the work for you. It is not other people. It's actually NPCs. They're doing it for you, they're making the money, and you have to do absolutely no work. Easiest way to make money in this game, fastest way to make money, but it does require the most to get started. Um, I will currently make around 50k an hour from those five businesses, and it is very easy. The best thing also, or an even better thing about it, is that to sell off all your goods, you only, need, you only ever get one vehicle. Unlike the other, um, unlike the cargo crates like we said earlier, you could get up to three vehicles. This one is only ever one vehicle. As you can see here, I made a $1 million sale. And the best thing about it is that $1 million was made while I was at work, while I was at school, when I was doing whatever, eating, sleeping. That, I had to do nothing on the game to make that money. So anyways, that wraps up the video. Those are the top three ways to make money solo on GT5 Online, plus a fourth little add-on, the special um, the special mention. So if you guys did enjoy, please drop a like. It would be very much appreciated. If you want to know how to go from zero to millions of dollars so you could afford these top three, uh, please drop a comment in the comment section down below. I will see all those comments and I will decide to make the video within a week if there's enough people that want to see it. Um, also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It would be very much, very, very, very much appreciated. If you want to see any other kind of video, garage tour, anything else, how I make my money, how I, you know, what's the best way to make, you know, how to make the most amount of money in an hour or something along that lines, drop that in the comment section down below. I could do that for you as well. If you want to know how to make hundreds of millions to billions on GT5 story mode, 
go check out my two other videos on my channel. They're very dope. They're very fire. I hope you all did enjoy this video, um, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.